Today I trained our male clouded leopard tie for voluntary cheek swabs. It's important to train behaviors like this so the animals can voluntarily participate so that every time we need to gather information, we don't have to put an animal under anesthesia because that can be stressful for the animal. Once I obtain the cheek swabs, I will send them up to our vet staff where they can run diagnostic and DNA tests. DNA gives us a lot of information and it's especially useful when you have such a vulnerable species like a clouded leopard when we can really map out their genealogy to really conserve the species. It took about a month to train the cats to participate. For the first week, I made it a point to come down and train the clouded leopards for the swab every day. After that, I came down to train them a few times a week. So we started with a basic open mouth behavior, which he had previously learned. So it was a matter of teaching him to extend the time in which he opens his mouth and then to also desensitize him to the swab itself. I'll ask him to open his mouth, hold it open, and I will say my cue, which is swab, and I will get the cheek swab, bridge, and then reward him. A bridge is a tool such as a clicker or a whistle that allows the animal to know that that specific behavior that they did is the behavior that I want them to do. The cats receive beef or beef chunk or fish as a reward for participating in these training sessions. Good boy. All done.